All right. Just want to check some stuff. Just making sure that my uh, speakers and everything are working well. Um, <clears throat> so today, obviously, we have a couple things we're going to do. Wait for some people to uh, hop in. So um, obviously what we're going to do here today is we're going to eat this chocolate Borg 9 pepper. We're going to do it live. So we should have some people jumping in. Uh, we are going to probably eat this at about in about seven minutes. Uh, before we start, I figured I'd talk a little bit about the chocolate board nine pepper. Uh, I've done a previous video on this about three years ago. Uh, this is my first video back since I did those series, like I said, three years ago. Since then, bought a house, bought a dog, had a kid. Uh, so been a, been a little busy. Um, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about it. We're going to eat it and tell you what it tastes like, tell you how it burns, and that's it. Um, there's going to be a bunch more of these. Currently, I'm growing 19 varieties of peppers. Um, so we're probably going to do all 19. Some of them I've already done before on this channel, uh, so they're going to be repeats, but that's okay. So uh, of these repeats, like I said, um, one of them is going to be this chocolate board knife. And this is just purely because it was the first to ripen. Um, so we've got the chocolate board nine. We have, uh, let's see, I got my list here. We're going to do the Jimmy Nardello, Italian frying pepper, cayenne jalapeno, Pineapple habanero, tangerine habanero, which I think is actually a cross, uh, an accidental cross, which we'll talk about. Uh, we have the Ahi Amarillo, the Jay's Peach Ghost Scorpion, Jay's Peach Ghost Scorpion times Chocolate Ghost, actually, which I, I have here still ripening up. Uh, the Nagabon, Monster Naga, Chocolate Maruga, MOA Scotch Bonnet, Yellow Dugla, um, Yellow Reaper, the Bootla, the Red Bootla, Dorset Naga, Seven Pod Jonah, uh, Bleeding Borg Nine, and your variety Ghost Pepper. Uh, this Bleeding Borg Nine, so the Bleeding Borg Nine is the red version of this. This is the chocolate variety. The, the Bleeding Borg Nine, I think, clocks in at around 1.5 million. Chocolate pods tend to be slightly hotter than the red varieties. So, if I were to be a betting guessing man, I'd probably say this pot clocks in at like 1.6, maybe 1.7. So it's pretty up there. Um, it, the contour is super bumpy, just like gnarly looking, like the uh, back of an alligator. Um, you've got a lot of contours and dents in here. Uh, I think that actually this side kind of reminds me of a chicken, like a chicken you get at the grocery store. Here's the breast, here's the legs, here's the uh, thighs. Um, but yeah, that's the uh, chocolate Borg 9. Now, the Borg 9 series are all grown by a guy named John Harper out of the UK. Um, the original Bleeding Borg 9 was a cross between a seven-pot bubble gum and a Nagla. And a nozzle is a ghost pepper cross with a seven pot dugla. Now the seven pot bubblegum itself is also a cross of a maruga scorpion 
and a yellow seven pot. So we're talking about five different peppers that went into this. Uh, the question came in, which is hotter, the bleeding board nine or the chocolate variety? Chocolate varieties tend to be hotter than the red counterparts in general. Uh, and in this case, that holds true. Um, also, I think there's slightly different capsaicinoids. So the way it hits you is a little bit different. I noticed on the bleeding board nine, it kind of ramped up. Um, last time I had this, when I checked back on my notes, it basically hit real hard right away and then started backing off quicker. So it's just a, a matter of how they hit and everything. But in most, for the most part, people tell you chocolate pods are hotter. So there's that. Um, we're going to go ahead and pop the, uh, the grenade pin. We're going to cut this open. So um, this isn't fully ripe, but that's okay. Uh, I expect it to be a little bit, you know, greenish. Knock some of these seeds out. Just because they're bitter. I don't eat whole pods because I have stuff to do. And um, I don't want to be laying on the floor all day. People that do that are a different breed. Anyway, so this is, uh, you can see that just like the first one, <laughs> three years ago, there's a ton of placental tissue. The placental tissue is where all the uh, stuff gets made. Oh, man. You can see. I don't know if you're able to see in here, but you can see kind of the oil pooling in that glistening with just nastiness. Smell smells like like dirt and fire. Um, yeah, this is gonna suck. I got my. Uh, beverage here all right ladies we're gonna go for it so you notice actually <laughs> stalling a little bit even though it's a chocolate pod there is some red in, red coloration in general the chocolate color is really just a super dark red that ends up showing as brown that's what's kind of going on here but um yeah sometimes you kind of see kind of a caramel color move to brown but Enough stalling. Let's do this. Uh, that is super floral. <clears throat> the floralness is disgusting. <clears throat> it's like someone sprayed perfume in my mouth. The heat's coming on right away. Oh. Getting a lot of fur on the tongue, <clears throat> starting to creep on the throat. It's not really the it's like the upper <clears throat> part of the throat. Calls me a burp. I'm just gonna wash some chunks. Oh man, ah, that's hot. <clears throat> That is a very painful burn. It's very violent. This pot is angry with me for not watering it.
Very violent. <clears throat> really, like, top of the back of the throat. Like the tonsils. Or that little uh, hang down thing is called. <clears throat> it started at the front of the tongue, but now it's more towards the back. Yeah, the tonsil burn is about fun. It's already peaked. It's backing off. Oh, man, that was violent. Very sharp. Sharp pain. Uh, I mean, it hit hard, fast. It's like a whole bunch of floral taste. So there was initial sweetness. Then there was a floral taste. And then it just, wham, slammed right into my front of my tongue and then just kind of rolled back. <sighs> Already getting an endorphin rush. I feel my breathing starting to calm down. Head get a little lighter. So, <clears throat> this reminds me of a Fatale. Fatale peppers hit hard and fast. This is hanging around a lot longer. But man. That's a hot pot. There's no real good flavor of that. It really sucks. Tastes like eating a bouquet of flowers and washing it down with battery acid. Uh, uh, I would put that in your enemy's um, coffee. I would uh, feed that to groundhogs that tear up your yard and squirrels that tear up your yard. I would not feed that to people you care about or like. So um, that is a very violent, disgusting thought. Sean Harper, you are a sick man. You do need help. Um, uh, not really much else to say about the pepper. Like I said, um, got about 18 more of these to do. Uh, maybe next video, we'll do a little tour of the garden before I eat a pod. I think the next pod will probably be this. Jay's Peach Ghost Scorpion times Chocolate Ghost. This is a cross by Batman, also known as Make It Wayne. I'll put a link on this uh, video when I stop doing a live for, for his page. Anybody that wants to see it. Uh, still hot. Still hot. All right. Well, that's it, guys. Keep it spicy.